Okay, I've gone back to A. As everything else is the same, including the one little notch down and across for colour, which might be. Yeah, you know, I keep forgetting you haven't seen that, but you probably haven't seen that sort of stuff, fellas. And I mean, there could be a bloody bladder war here with leaves, and I don't even know. I don't even see it. I mean, that's pretty good. I, uh, It was like that car that went past the other day. I thought in the monitor it wasn't picking up the purpley stuff, but when I got home on the screen, it had. It was perfect on the screen at home, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was near as damn it's perfect, you sort of thing. So, you know, maybe when I get home, all this stuff will be, you know. Oh, the ground's getting a little bit, oh, this is good, fellas. Oh, our first glid. Oh. Gone slightly past the tiddly pop stage. So, uh, oh, there's a few others down there. Oh, and another one, uh, Peltata Foliosa Hookerai. And there's a whole load in there and in there. Okay. So those glids will come on in the next two months, two, two and a half months, very quickly now. So the end of June, July, August into September, and they'll grow up to, you know, 50 cent, 50 cent, 50 cent piece size or slightly bigger depending on where they grow and oh, oh, oh that's a nice one fellas yeah and what about this one over here i remember we found a gorgeous one the other year when i had the old camera oh that's nice i like that yes of course in new soil under fertilization you know it's all many fertilizing you can get something like that up to like a six inch pot size so in other words, you could grow something like that up to macro, normal macrophylla size, and I don't know what macrophylla is going to get up to. What, are you going to be growing something like that in an eight-inch pot? You know, touching the size of an eight-inch... <laughs> Maybe that should be the title of this uh, series of clips, touching the size of an eight-inch pot. You've got to have a, a massive hand of applause for that. <laughs> That's implausible, Richard. I don't know. Oh, we got some of the uh, fern coming in here. That's interesting. So, are we going to go up there and find something equally as interesting? Oh, this is going down on a slope. So, I really need to. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Started to sink down there, fellas. Wow, it's lovely. 50-50 peat and sand. I would have thought. Lovely, uh, lovely sandage there. So, oh, here's a nice planty on the, here, without the colour though, but it will get colour later on as we go through the cold nights and then get the, the bright, brightening, oh, brightening days. Now if I can work out how to get the proper focus, it will focus in on these things. I did work out using a flash that you could do it, firing your flash through some toilet paper, you'd always get good focus with that. That was a bit of a trick, and, uh, oh. Don't they look good against the grey? I always think grey soil is the best. Black is okay, but I think grey, if you get a nice grey that's almost black, but not quite, and oh, look at these. Oh, you just gotta be here, fellas. Have you booked, <laughs> have you booked your plane ticket? Yes, well, yeah, it was, you know? I think you need to come through here on your way to WA. Don't forget that WA starts earlier and ends later, so. Maybe you want to do WA, come here, then go back to WA, and, and or sort of WA here, Northern Territory, then back to WA. You know, so you can take in all the um, 